And it's time to take a look at our tale of the tape for this fight, brought to you by Bud Light, the beer you can always count on. The stats lean towards Justin Van Horn as he is 14 years the elder Tamino Trevino. He also has a four inch advantage in height and reach and nearly two pounds in weight. The reckons are dead even at one and oh. Let's find out who moves to two and oh and who suffers their first pro loss as we go inside the cage with Brett Talbert. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Front Street Fights Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my left with a record of one win against zero defeats. Standing in at six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205.6 pounds. Fighting out of Payson, Utah, representing Unbreakable MMA. Please welcome Justin Van Horn. His opponent fighting out of the red corner to my right. Also coming in with a record of one win against zero defeats. Standing in at six feet tall, weighing in at 203.7 pounds. Fighting out of Boise, Idaho, proudly representing Jet House MMA. Please welcome Mino the Jet. Trevino! Our referee, when the action begins, is a ruling day. The 6'3", Justin Van Horn, the 6'0", Mino Trevino, kick off the pro portion of Front Street Fights 15 in the light heavyweight division. Let's see how this height difference and reach difference pays out and what kind of growth we're going to see from Mino tonight. Mino uses a southpaw stance. Cool, calm, and patient throwing a left jab. There is Mino connecting on Van Horn, who is in the blue and black trunks. You see Trevino in the gray trunks. Mino tried, uh, timed a really good lead left. Uh, when Justin was uh, kind of coming in on that first one, you know, nice straight lead left. Liver kick there. Not a lot of head movement from these guys. Again, much like we saw in the fi final amateur bout of the night, calm, cool, collected, staring each other down, figuring each other out. Where is the distance? What are you going to throw and how are you going to throw it? Mino doing a good job of pressing Van Horn back up against the gauge there. Both men haven't even thrown a, oh, there you go. Now Mino just threw a nice little uh, right knee, you know, to the, to the solar plex of, of Justin. But we'll see, we'll see if they can get this. The size and strength yeah. of both men on display there, both not wanting to give an inch, both fighting for every oh. inch they can. Mino stepping through and connecting with a hard left jab. Yeah, and he slipped right outside of the counter too, you know, which was really good. He stepped to his right and slipped, slipped with some good head movement. Obviously, Justin's Van Horn's, you know, bleeding. I can't tell from where yet because I haven't seen, but probably just the nose. Van Horn's not really, uh, not really uh, using his his range with his uh, straight punches like I.E. a jab. Oh, another left jab from Mino. You know, or. Um, or he's also not doing a, leading in with a, you know, setting up his punches with his kicks or his kicks with his punches. So, you know, there you go. There was a, finally a kick. Oh, Mino throws a head kick, slips and falls, takes a couple of punches from Van Horn. Van Horn doing a good job capitalizing on the opportunity given to him, throwing a couple of hammer fists there too. Just a mistake there by Trevino almost cost him everything. Yeah, I couldn't tell if he was stunned there, what, what happened, but uh, 
But, uh, you know, it looked like he went for the gold and, you know, really, really paid for it, you know, got scored a takedown, almost got mounted. But he did a really good job kind of rebounding really quickly. And uh, that was actually, that was actually the, uh, the issue of, uh, with um, uh, Justin, is Justin actually went, elected for a choke. And, and what, what happened there was, uh, was uh, he didn't establish the position. Van Horn leaking a little bit of oil. Does appear to be out of the nose there from one of the left jabs from Trevino. One minute left in this first round between Justin Van Horn and Emilio Trevino. Of course, all pro fights go to five minute rounds. Nino trying to go for a back kick, slips and falls again, and just with a double leg takedown, throws Van Horn into the back of the cage. And Justin's breathing really heavily out of his mouth right now. You know, it seems like he's uh, kind of getting dragged into deeper waters because uh, Mino's age is just, you know, he's, he's got the age advantage and he just sprung right up as you just saw, you know, made a mistake and sprung right up and, and actually got a, a scored a takedown off of that, which is pretty incredible. Just over 15 seconds left in this first of three rounds between Justin Van Horn and Mino Trevino in the front three fights, light heavyweight division. Round number one comes to a close, and you kind of saw a few different angles there yeah. from both Van Horn and Trevino, both trying to figure each other out in, in Trevino. And I know we talked about this a lot in his first fight as we get ready for the Project Filter replay brought to you by Project Filter. You decide when, we'll show you how. Visit projectfilter.org. You wanted to see a lot more action from Trevino the next time you fought for us. Are you seeing this so far? From yeah. Him? Absolutely, you know, um, he's kind of tamping down his, his karate stance. As you've seen, you know, he, he's... He, That's see, probably that was what that busted slip. open up Van Horn's nose there. That was the slip that I was talking about. And here you see the mistake where he went for that big uh, head kick. And uh, Justin's so tall, you know, that, that he had to get on his tippy toes and he slipped. And then... And here you're going to see another mistake by Mino Trevino. It goes for a spinning back at there, slips and falls. I don't want to really want to call that a mistake because that's not that's not okay on my part. But uh, did a better job capitalizing this time when he slips, falls, really just with. You know he did a really and just no pressure at all. Throws Van yeah, Horn to the back of the he cage. He did a really good job with with uh, correcting his mistake. However, he didn't set up that spinning back kick. He just tried to wing it from just nowhere, and and you know he he paid for it. Paid for it, but again, yeah. capitalized really well as we get ready for round number two. Setting up that mid, that Torso. kick to the midsection, yep. goes for the mid kick and goes upstairs connecting to the head of Van Horn. Van Horn tries to counter with a leg kick as well. Mino has been pretty effective with those jabs there. And just as I say that, Van Horn counters with one as well. Sweat getting into the eyes of Van Horn. Affecting the vision a little bit. Of course, the jabs, I'm sure, have affected his vision a little bit as well, too. <laughs> yeah, glove to the eyeball. That'll do it every time. <laughs> Another stiff left jab. That's about the fourth one. But again, we talked about that counter punch that Van Horn threw about a minute ago. You can start seeing the right eye of Mino swelling a little bit and bleeding as well too. So both men showing the effects and damage of this fight so far. Yeah, no, I actually, right before they they uh, clinched up, you know, I saw I saw Mino try to his hip turn like he was going to kick, and I think he he second guessed it, which was a good thing. You know, he kind of. I think he learned his lesson, you know, he's already starting to get that read, is what I was talking about, is, you know, he's setting up the kicks, and, you know, I saw his, his hip kind of twitch, like he was going to throw it, and he didn't, and, um, you know, that's what you're looking for, you know. Somebody lost their corner wristband. <laughs> 
You saw as they were clenched against the cage there. Mino throwing a couple knees, Van Horn throwing a couple of elbows. Both men back to a standing position. I don't know what that was. You almost look at and we've seen it. It is kind of becoming a fan yeah. favorite here in a, in a movie we've caught a lot, the Superman punch, where you go for the running knee and try to throw the punch. It almost looked like that may have been what Van Horn was going for. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know either. Yeah. Ooh, nice, nice right hand from Justin Van Horn on that, off that break. Van Horn going for the front kick there, trying to create some distance between him and Trevino. As we are just about halfway through round number two, what I'm seeing, Justin Van Horn and Mino Trevino. What I'm seeing is a, I'm seeing a, a as it gets a little deeper in the rounds, you know, is a, Justin seems a little bit more reactionary to what Mino's doing, and Mino seems to be like kind of common, kind of settling in and into his, uh, in, into a groove and kind of. That's two right jabs in a row to the nose of Van Horn, and it's starting to show the signs and the wear and tear. So just, you know, the tempo, you know, uh, I just I just feel like a shift a little bit as far as the confidence goes and, and the implement of the game plan. Mino's a lot more um, uh, flat-footed, you know, um, this round, but it's not due to cardio. It just seems like he's kind of settled in because he doesn't have to bounce around because he's not really getting challenged, you know, with leg kicks and, and, and whatnot. There you go. See? Van Horn going for an overhand right. And the only reason Mino counters that with the right of his own straight again to the nose. And the reason he got that is because he didn't he didn't he didn't back out. You know, he didn't he didn't bob in, bob out, you know, didn't didn't jump in, jump out. So he's doing really good with that. One minute, ten seconds left in round number two of our opening professional bout of Front Screen Fights 15, presented by Bodybuilding.com. Mino's do, doing really good, tucking his chin into his left shoulder. So he's rolling with those punches that Justin's sending down the pipe, and you'll see him tuck his left chin, his chin into his left shoulder, and uh, kind of, uh, it's kind of a common defense that uh, like Mayweather kind of made famous. You know, is to kind of keep that left hand down, that front that front hand down, and tuck his chin into his shoulder. So, Mino's you know, actually implementing it pretty well. You can see Van Hoer trying to land a couple of lefts and rights there. Seems to be slowing down just a little bit. Good thing they invented screen covers for cell phones. Yeah, last time, last time I was commentating, I, I had to put my suit into dry cleaning. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, how did the dry cleaners go I, last time? I had time? a nice, kind of real nice blue suit and, and like a lighter blue suit, and then I said, never again. I've got to go with... word being had. i got to, yeah, got to go with dark. As round number two comes to an end between Justin Van Horn and Amino Trevino, what did you see in that round, and what did you really like from both fighters there? Yeah, you know, um, uh, it, obviously the, the tempo obviously shifted much more towards Mino. You know, he's, he's kind of settling down. He's, he's sitting down on his punches, which is what I kind of referred to a, a few fights ago. And, and, you know, he's getting a lot of power and he's doing a lot of, he's doing really good with uh, uh, counter punching and he didn't make a, an egregious mistake. As we go to the Project Filter replay brought to you by Project Filter, you decide when we'll show you how, visit projectfilter.org. And see here, you see Mino kind of peppering him, walking forward, marching him down. And then he takes one and then he just keeps coming forward and Nice left, kind of almost like a short uppercut. Really good body shot. Just sending straight punches. You know, these these guys really aren't winging them, but Mino's doing a really good job of. A lot more, you, you mentioned a lot more confidence that yeah. Mino is showing. And obviously Van Horn is showing that he, he can take a few punches here. He's landed a couple, as you see, again, the damage under the right eye. Mino Trevino starting to swell a little bit. A little bit of a cut as well. Both men leaking some oil as we start round number three. Need to get a bib. <laughs> <laughs> you say what next time you go to Red Lobster? No.
Round number three beginning much the way of round number one. Round number two back to figuring each other out. Slow and steady has been the pace through most of this fight. That was a very nice, it looked like a, I think it was a one-two combo from Justin Van Horn. Oh, see, there was a spinning kick. You know, Mino didn't pay for it, but you know, he didn't set it up either. One minute gone by in our final round. Oh! oh hard shot from Mino Trevino. This one could be done. Is he gonna finish him off? Referee Ruan Day, he's looking. But as they tell you in the pre-fight meeting, tell me you're okay, tell me you can continue to fight. Van Horn can take a punch and he keeps going. Mino set that up with three back-to-back -back double leg fakes for, for the shot, double leg takedown fakes. And then what happened was Van Horn fell for it and Mino capitalized with a nice punch. This His crowd comes alive with excitement. Mino going for the rear naked choke. Is this gonna be enough? He taunts Mino Trevino gets the win. A near knockout turns into a rear naked choke submission. Amino Trevino victorious over Justin Van Horn. He moves to one and oh. Justin Van Horn suffers his first pro loss. Wow. Justin Van Horn did a good job, but he's kind of on roller skates right now. He's having a hard time walking back straight to his corner. That was um, really good, and, and Mino you know, did a really good job uh, kind of staying patient and not making a mistake, you know, trying to put Justin away. Watch these double leg takedown fakes. One. As we go to the Project Filter replay brought to you by Project Filter, Watch. you decide when, we'll Two. show you how. Visit projectfilter.org. The head duck connects with that hard right shot, follows it up with several rights and several lefts. And as we told you in between round number two and round number three, Van Horn can obviously take a punch because he took a huge one there. Tells him that he's ready to go. But again, as a mistake that we've seen several times throughout the last three years, unfortunately gives up that back position. Mino saw blood quite literally, went in for the finish, hit the clinch on the rear naked choke, and that was all she wrote. Did a really good job finishing. Um, you know, just can't say enough good things about uh, Mino's performance tonight. You know, it's really well put together, and he, he faced the adversity and, and uh, stared down a much bigger opponent. And that was uh, all good things for Mino's you know, career now and in the future. Well, we are gonna make this one official. We go back inside the cage with Britt Talbert for the results. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get to the particulars, these guys gave you three really hard fought rounds here tonight. One more round of applause, if you would. Here we go. Our winner at 146 of the third round via a tap out by rear naked choke, improving his record to two wins against zero defeats, fighting out of the red corner, Mino the Jet Trevino. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, how about it for our guy Justin Van Horn coming up from uh, Utah, Mino. A quick word here, we've got a swag bag from our friends at bodybuilding.com and kind of a weird, strange turn of events. First period, you had to climb the ladder with a big kick and lost your balance. You were gonna go in for the kill. Tough fight tonight. Yeah, he was a good, good opponent, you know, uh, tons of amateur experience, uh, you know, newly turned pro, but still, he's a tough guy. I mean, 6'6", 205, he's a big, tough dude. What's next for you? I mean, you know, what, what, where are you headed to next? 2-0 and now, where next? We're going to fight Front Street again next month. You guys should be there. And then after that, um, I don't know, we're going to see what happens. You know, we're going to move to 3-0, and see what goes from there. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Mino Trevino! Might have had a little you spoiler alert. Now, I want to just do a couple shout-outs real quick. Uh, I got to thank my team, uh, Jet House MMA, my coach, Jose, right there. My coach Chris, little Jose, Jordan Pullman, I know you're out there. Um, all the kids that come to our classes, all the parents, thank you guys so much. You know, Thane, of course, I have to thank you. 
You're, I, I can't even explain how much I appreciate you. Dennis and Drug Shield, you guys are awesome. They take care of me. Everybody out here in Boise, thank you guys. I appreciate all the support. I love you guys. Mino the Jet Trevino, ladies and gentlemen.